What is up, guys? Beacon49 here. This is Bean Around the World, the series where I tour Xbox One maps that you may have not seen before. Today, we are joining Brent12346 in Forge Book City. Now, Brent has been working hard on this map. This is a very large city build that's got a lot of elements of different cities in it and it's very realistic very realistic let's put that let's put it that way it's very modern and very realistic and he's working on a lot of different projects right now so we can't tour the whole map he doesn't want to show it off yet but he has allowed me to come in here and tour his latest finished product the Lowe's uh, what do you call it the Lowe's construction co store home improvement store that's what they're called home improvement uh, so we're going to be taking a look at the home improvement store today. If you are not familiar with Forgebook City or the Forgebook guys, which is Brent12346 and Tom Cruise, go check out their YouTube channel. I'm going to put links all over the place on the card in the description. Go check it out. They put out really funny Minecraft YouTube videos that revolve around this Forgebook City, which, like I said before, is its detail and its realism will blow you away. The whole size and the scale of it, it just feels like you're in a real human world, a real city. So I'm going to take a little exterior of this Lowe's. If you don't have Lowe's in your area, it's a lot like Home Depot except blue <laughs> instead of orange. That's basically all it is as far as I know. Uh, so yeah, you're going to get a glimpse of the garden center and the shipping you're receiving from the outside. You guys know me. You know what I like. And I do like exteriors like this. This looks very realistic. Look at this. I like it. I like it very lot, a lot. Very a lot. <laughs> I like it very a lot. But I chose to show you this build today because of the interior. And we're going to take a look at the interior in a moment. We're, we'll get to that part. But take a look at the exterior first. Wait till you see the interior. So what we got over here, we got some displays out in the front on the front sidewalk. I like how he uses the slabs there to differentiate the sidewalk from the street. That's what I like to do at Desolation as well. And these, he's got some racks here is what he said on display. Some racks, some, uh, you know, whatever. The little things are meant to draw you in, to attract the eye and to bring you in. Over here we've got some barbecues and some grills, some propane grills and stuff like that. I like it. It look, works well in this texture pack. The silver of the iron things matches the furnaces it doesn't work so well the natural I don't have so much luck with that but you know every texture pack has its strengths and its weaknesses I'm not a fan of this city texture pack for various reasons but I think that Brent uses his textures very well before we go inside we're gonna take a look at it, one of his custom trees he says each of these trees takes about half an hour so he has he's only done one this is the prototype these are what the trees are gonna look like in the future I think they're pretty cool uh, I don't know why it takes half an hour. I mean, I guess if you meticulously place every every leaf block, then yeah, it could take that long. So he's got a lot of those to do, but he's finished his palm trees, his patented palm trees. I'll put a link to his palm tree video right now uh, where he explains how he makes his palm trees. So he's got his own technique. I like to use, you know, anyone who's seen the, the palms, apartment complex in the ghetto of Covington knows that I like to use stairs for my palm trees. Both work, both are different. Whatever, to each their own. Lowe's, let's go inside. Finally, the interior, guys. Uh, one thing he said that, you know, a lot of people like to use mine carts and chests for, for shopping carts, but not him. This is his shopping cart method. This way, people can't push around his shopping carts, which, which trust me, guys, trust me, is very annoying. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going in. Now, the, I mentioned this in a previous video. The reason why, I think... I think the reason why this interior is so breathtaking is because Brent12346 <laughs> works at Lowe's. That's right, He this is his place of business. He's worked here since January, so he has enough time to get a real feel for this place. And he has basically replicated the place of his employment. So he's going to take us on a little tour. We got the interior paints here. We just passed the checkout stands. He's also got some exterior paints to use uh, the the stained clay for these. I think I thought that was a really cool little touch. How the interior paints are a little softer and not as rugged as the exterior paints. He's got some decorative colors over here. So one of the benefits of of working at this place is he's able to fill in details where most of us would be guessing, and so that really that really shines. That really exemplifies throughout his build it just exemplifies the amount of realism that he's put into this 
You know, not all of us could make a Lowe's like this. You almost would have to work there. I mean, he's telling you everything. This is like where they put the thermometers, the high-priced t- things that people like to steal. They're behind the bars. So that's what that's there for. I mean, he's telling me where everything is. If I asked him where a product was, he would take me there because that's how well he knows this place. So this is the self-checkout stands here. I much prefer self-checkout. It goes so much faster, you know? I don't know why you have to have 15 items or less. Or I don't know why that's, you know. <laughs> if I could take, like, a, a whole tri- thing, what do you call it? I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm rambling now. Employee section. All right. He said that they have a real-life ping-pong table in their real-life break room, so he's put one in here. All right. I really like the use of... It's a very simple way to do lockers. I think that's a furnace pointed backwards and the button. I'm not too intimate with this texture pack. I think that's what it is. Okay. All right. We got a little kitchen and a little... He wanted me to t- let you guys know that that is a Brazilian blue waffle. Fans of Forge Book will know exactly what that means. Oh, the tool section. I've seen those letters before. One thing that Brent uh, was honest about, he said he wanted to take a lot of techniques from different pl- people and combine them into one. And I think that's really helped him. He's taken elements from Dan Lags, from who knows, Corrales. We'll get into that in a minute. So, you know, this is, uh, he's drawn on his influences. And a lot of people will say, oh, well, he's taken things from other places. He hasn't innovated. And that's absolutely wrong. That is. That is what we're doing in this community, guys. We're all drawing on each other to make each other better. And I think that's a really cool thing about this Minecraft community. There should not be any fighting. Like, for instance, this uh, forklift here, he took from... What's his name? Andy Yoda. Yeah, Andy Yoda. And uh, one of Corrales' friends. And he did some tweaks on it. So, you know, he took something that existed and he tweaked it a little bit. He added his own little personal touch. And, you know, he gets something new. And that's exactly what, you know, I'm all about is, you know, collaborative creation. <laughs> collaborative creation, yes. Don't tell your teachers I told you that I made that up. <laughs> um, how about collaborative creativity? Uh huh, uh huh. That could go in a wrap, you know. <laughs> all right. So he's got all sorts of different woods here. Lumber. This is a lumber section, of course. He's also got bricks, and uh, he's got all the different kinds of lumber. He started this project after the most recent update, not the bug fix, but the one before that. So he's got all the new woods. He's got the stained glass. He said that this Lowe's took him one month to accomplish, and if that's true, it took him one month to do all this. I am highly impressed. I don't remember how long it took me to do my Costco, but it was a grind, Ugh, man. And you know, I see a lot of similarities between this Costco or, or this Lowe's and my Costco. I, I feel the similarities, but you know, this one feels bigger, so and more detailed in, interior-wise. So I can't believe he did it so quickly. Uh, he had a little help from Cody, his his friend and his partner in crime. Over here, we got a backup uh, generator. He said <laughs> he wasn't positive what it was. I mean, he built it. I don't know why I didn't know what it was. It's kind of strange. I didn't ask too many questions. <laughs> so he's taking me around. Let's see where we're going next. All right, we're passing through the lumber again. I really like the 2 by 4 idea. You know, just using slabs. I thought that was really cool. Um, you know, I thought there was probably more opportunity to use carpet in here as shelving. Uh, I know that this is a warehouse type store and you want heavy duty shelving. But, you know, there's also some smaller... Uh, more fragile items that they sell here. This is the Andy Yoda forklift that I was just talking about uh, that he tweaked. Uh, but yeah, carpets to me, I like to use carpets as shelving shelving units. Not like heavy burly ones like I was just saying, but you know, just smaller dainty ones where you can put things like shears and you know, things that hang sometimes. Uh, out here we have, I think this is more lumber. <laughs> you know, they just stack the lumber out front. I don't know why. It's weird. He said Home Depot does this too. I don't know, man. I don't do a lot of home improving, okay? <laughs> I'll leave that to the professionals. I got digital home improvements to do in Minecraft, so I can't be bothered, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that good with my hands. I'm uh, I'm more of a big picture kind of guy. I'll see the big picture and I'll, I'll, I'll make it, but you know, the fine details like you know, measuring and cutting. Ah, who wants to deal with that? I did the Pinewood Derby as a Boy Scout. <laughs> That's about it, or Cub Scout. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Brent? Oh, yes, we're going to the lighting. Ooh, the lighting. Now, I like this. He's got many different kinds of lamps and lights and, you know, redstone things. 
Uh, one thing he said that he wanted to kind of combine the world of Minecraft with the world of real life. So you're going to see a lot of Minecraft products mixed in with a lot of real life products. So you're going to see some redstone dust and some minecarts. But you're also going to see lamps like this and home theaters, stereo sound, surround sound systems. You know what I mean? So I thought that was a really cool little touch. You know, it's still Minecraft, but it's still real. But it's a little bit of both. And I thought that was really cool. He's got some security cameras there. I know we're going fast, guys. There's a lot to see. Uh, you know, not a lot of time. All right, what do we got? Oh, he said this is the shades. He said he wasn't really sure how to do shades. Oh, uh, I could have done a shade. You, you should have called me Brent. I would have showed you a shade. Actually, someone on my map had like accidentally come up with a shade. I think it was Diamond A Team, and he did a really good job, and I've been using those ever since. All right, where are we going now? Where are we going? Ooh, to the kitchens. He did say there's a lot of things that in this map that's, you know, they don't actually sell at Lowe's. He had to add, or he didn't have to, but he wanted to. So he added a few things. Uh, you'll see soon, but they do sell kitchen stuff, I'm sure. So countertops and all that, all that jazz. Where are we going next, Brent? We got some, ooh, some uh, fridges over there. You can get lost in this place. In fact, I'm sure kids get lost on a daily basis. I remember when I was a kid, and we went to the Home Depot. That was before Lowe's existed, and my parents took us to the Home Depot. My sister and I used to play a little game where we run away from our parents and try to hide and see if they could find us. Usually, they didn't try to even look. Now, why would that be? You know, they, they didn't want to find us? Oh, I wonder why. We were such darling angels. We never yelled or ran around or touched everything in the store. <laughs> oh, we were little devils. At least I was. My sister was, was not. I, I had this thing where when I went into a store, I had to touch everything. Everything. And, you know, there was a 50-50 chance whether I broke it or not. <laughs> so my mom would just, like, have a Hawkeye on me. And, Are you going to touch that? She, if she saw my hand going towards the shelf, she'd start yelling. <laughs> she knew what I was thinking. All right, anyway, what am I going on about? I'm going on about home improvement escapades in the past. How strange. <laughs> this, uh, I'll tell you why, guys. I'll tell you exactly why. Because when I was walking through this store, I'll tell you what. This was done so well that I started smelling it. Now, now, barely, okay, stay with me, guys. I started smelling the smells of this store. It's, this store is so accurate to real life. It makes me feel like I'm in a Lowe's, and I know what that smells like. And the smells are just coming back to me right now, especially when we get to the garden center. Now, smells is the one sense that's closely, most closely connected to your memory. You remember smells, and the smells linger with you longer than any other sense that comes into your body. So, whenever you get nostalgic, you sometimes smell things. And sometimes when you smell things, you get nostalgic. I think that's pretty cool. That's what I'm feeling right now. Because like I said, I haven't gone into a home improvement store in a very long time. And the last time I went, not the last time, but this is giving me memories of my childhood right now. And it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Ooh, look at this riding lawnmower. Oh, stale. You like that, don't you? All right, he's got a riding lawnmower. It's pretty cool. I like it. I would have added some more, maybe, um, maybe like a furnace to the front to make it look like an engine. I know it's covered up, the engine, but you know, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> These are just ideas. He's got some solar panels. He's kind of Brent. You're in. The, you're covering the sign. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. You didn't see anything. No wonder he's covering the sign. Anyway, what are we going here? This is where my, my oral factories start tingling. <laughs> this is where I start smelling the sod, the soil, the plants. We're getting into the plant section. This is where the fake plants are. The, the fake ones are inside, of course, because they don't need light. Keep them in the cave dungeon. You got some refrigerators. Oh, no, this is not refrigerators. Sorry. Uh, this is just um, AC. Yeah, AC units to keep cool. All right, starting at $9.99. What a deal. <laughs> $1,000 to avoid sweating. Is it worth it to you? Um, I live in California, so no, it is not worth it to me. Even though it got up to uh, like the low hundreds this summer, it was completely bearable. Completely. I don't need no AC. Don't need no stinking AC. Where are we going, Brent? You're taking us in circles. <laughs> okay, we're going in circles, but that's okay. No worries, no worries. I think we should go outside. I know you guys from the very beginning, since you saw it on the outside part, of the tour wanted to go outside so let's go outside I like the garden center he's got a countertop here okay we were no time for cooking <laughs> where are we go oh he's got one of those oh that's an outdoor heater lamp I love those those things 
You know, you can eat outdoors in peace during the winter. I like his winter shirt. I think he's a seasonal employee. <laughs> he's here for the, the Christmas times. <laughs> I don't know why he wears that sweater year-round. Brent, don't you get hot in that thing? It's not Christmas sweater weather all year round. All right. That's his signature, though. That's Brent's, that's Brent's clothes, so... <laughs> you know, I, I can't make fun of a man for his clothes. That's his personal identity. Anyway, we're outside now, and we got all sorts of lovely things. The outdoor check stands. He informed me that if the lines are too long out front, you can go to any one of these tertiary check stands. <laughs> Did I use that word correctly? <laughs> one of these other check stands, and they'll just ring you up, and you're out, your, out the door. So don't battle long lines. Take your stuff out to the nursery. <laughs> Let them deal with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, we're going through the nursery here. Uh, one of the things that, you know, they don't actually sell at Lowe's, but he wanted to improvise and add to the build because he thought it was cool, was these above-ground pools. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> and he's also got some decks over here. I really like this deck. I want this deck for my home. That's nice. You can just sit back and drink a beer and... Enjoy your your above ground pool on that thing. I could at least. <laughs> all right, we got some more stuff here. You know, it's all stuff. Use your imaginations, guys. There you go. Pavers. That's what it is. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, <laughs> he did say that. Those are the pavers. What we got here? Specialty stones. He's got everything. We got some sod. That's his sod. He's thought of everything, guys. You know, and he's also thought of the upcoming holidays. Even though it's not my favorite, he does have. Um, oh, we're not going over there anyway. <laughs> He's taking me in circles. Yeah, oh, oh, this is another one. Hold on. 360? Come on, you got this. You got this. Come on. Oh, I, th I started turning too late. That was weak. You guys didn't see that. You didn't see that. And Brent's got his sweater all wet. Oh, well. Anyway, he's, he's get, gearing up for the upcoming holidays. He's got the pumpkins on lock. Re locked and ready to roll. All right, that's the... Uh, that's the entrance or whatever, the gate for the trucks to bring the sod, <laughs> whatever they're going to bring. All right. So that's the outdoor area. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. He said just that uh, to my left here, the entire rack in real life is filled with just dirt. Bags and bags and bags of dirt. So he kind of improvised and made uh, made it look plant planty. planty? <laughs> Very planty, yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to head out now. Where are we going to next? Uh, we're going to wind down on this tour. He's got a few more things to show us. And he's going to start showing us, I believe now, we're going to go look at the employee kind of back area where the employees hide from the public. <laughs> Trust me, guys, if you work in any kind of store, you know, you're dealing with the mass public, you're going to need a place to hide and go be private for some time because the public will make you want to tear your hair out. I'm sure Brent can vouch for me on that. <laughs> All right, so we're in the back area. So this is where the shipping and receiving is, where you know trucks come in and they drop off stuff. You know, if someone wants to pick up an item later, they'll have it pulled from the shelves and they'll bring it back here and have it waiting for them. Over here, you know, they just storage and stuff like that. And over here is, okay, yeah, that's all the shelves where they keep the stuff for pickup. And over here, oh yeah, yeah he said uh, there's a guy who has a full-time job. 40 hours a week whose job is just to put stuff together. <laughs> People want to have someone at the store put their thing together and they'll have the, this guy do it. And it's just one dude and he's just out here, you know, <laughs> turning screws for eight hours a day. It's crazy. All right. As we pass another one of the lumber things and another forklift. Yeah. Wow. This is, like I said, guys, interiors don't get much better than this. You have to have intimate knowledge of the place that you are building to come anywhere close to this. One thing I've contemplated is, you know, stores I'm not really familiar with that I'm building on Desolation is going in there with a GoPro. I don't know if that's legal or not. Maybe I can conceal it somehow and just taking GoPro footage. <laughs> that's how much dedication I have for this you know and that's how much dedication Brent has for this look at this build you don't do something like this unless you mean it <laughs> you know what I mean you've got to mean it you've got to want to say you know what no one has pushed the envelope as much as I'm willing to right now that's what Brent said that's what I've been saying so come along with us come along for the ride push the envelopes do something like this this is what creative mode was built for. Stuff like this. Wow. Brent12346, I am thoroughly impressed. If the rest of your interiors look like this, 
Forgebook City is going to blow people away. Blow people away. I mean, this level of detail on the interior is almost unprecedented. Unpre almost. I mean, on PC, the PC people are crazy. But they all, they're also cheaters, you know. Brent had to lay all these blocks by hand, so good for him. All right, I really uh, respect builders on the one because we're working harder and we're getting less credit. Basically, that's how it goes. So show Brent12346 some love. Show Forgebook some love. Go subscribe to their channel. Go like their videos. Go watch their videos because they're actually really funny. I really enjoy them, and you will too, I think. If, you, if you're a fan of comedy and Minecraft... And it's just natural comedy. They just go back and forth, you know, joking with each other. Nothing scripted. Anyway, thank you for watching Bean Around the World. If you've got a world for me to see, hit me up on Twitter at BeanPoo49. Until then, happy Minecrafting. Peace.